Josie, I know that you take issue with this idea of a community healing, right? Is, can a community heal or does a family heal? Well, I think that the first thing that needs to be focused on is the fact that Michael Brown's family has to heal. They have to have time to grieve. As far as a community healing, I'm not sure that we're there yet, and I'm not sure we should be there yet. I think that um, that implies that the protests need to stop, that the anger needs to stop, the indignation, the feeling of injustice. And I don't think that um, it's time for that. I think that um, what we've seen in Ferguson in the past few weeks has largely been um, some of the most important citizen action that we've seen in this country in a, in a long time. Because when you talk about race and society, Greg, some of it is simply ends up feeling meta, right? It ends up feeling like we have to change the way we think about race and society and race and culture when part of what we need to see are tangible actions and steps forward. So when you hear Josie talking about the fact that it's not time to heal, that we do have to continue to demand things, what is it that we're demanding? I think there's small and, and larger scale things that we're demanding. I think the small scale thing is that this officer who shot an unarmed child from 35 feet away um, and what is now being reported 11 times should be held accountable for that. Um, and that, that, in, that requires some institutional change um, in law enforcement offices across the country. Greg, is, and even do you agree? I mean, is that enough? I mean, I think we have to go further than that. I mean, what, yeah. what we're seeing is, you know, it, you can take you know, tanks away from cops, and you can, you know, you can take guns away from cops and stuff like that. But the the problem is, is that minorities, um, it's much easier for cops to look at a minority and decide that they have license to wipe him or her off the face of the earth. You know, that that's deeper than like a matter of bedside manner or something or something like that, you know, or don't be uh, such a jerk. So how do, you know? how do you get, I mean, short of raising a new <laughs> generation of Americans that doesn't believe that or doesn't see that, I mean, how do you really change that? You saw I mean, the I New York Times what... piece from the Sunday in which Michael Brown was described, Michael Brown, 18, due to be buried on Monday, was no angel. He lived in a community that had rough patches and he dabbled in drugs. He had taken to rapping in recent months, producing lyrics that were by turns contemplative and vulgar. I mean, just the fact that this kid's being called no angel tells you about the way that black men are perceived in right. American society when you have serial killers being written up in the New York Times with more glowing descriptions. Right, and that's the problem is that, um that that's a judgment. That's a calculus, a specific calculus that we're saying. Saying, is was Michael Brown like? Did he deserve a right to life that um, we think you deserve as like you know that we think we should all deserve as Americans? So much I've seen in this past these past couple of weeks has been really indicative to me that there are people in this country and a lot of people in this country and a lot of people who are elected in this country or who serve in the government of this country who don't look at Michael Brown and see a person. Yeah. Yeah. They don't see a person. Right. And, until and they don't you see get a person to, like them. Until you get to where Josie is pointing us, I don't know that you can call this a tipping point. Right. And right. that's what's scary because I don't really see a future in which a lot of people are going to be at that point, <laughs> you know, that, that matter. I mean, this is the same problem that we've had since um, the beginning of this country, you know, since slavery and sharecropping and, and, you know, going through to redlining and even now, like, you know, people like Michael Brown, Trayvon Martin, and so on and so on and so on getting shot in the street, is that you don't see minorities as people. And that's, that's bigger than um, even, like, we need institutional or legislative changes. Yeah, like it's we in need... the very ethos of the country. Right, right. And it's mm -hmm. it's in the very fabric of the country. Yeah. You know, it's why we are um, who we are, all good and bad, goes back to um, not seeing black people as people.